Hello, do you guys have any flu game 12s? Nah, we won't. I honestly don't think anyone's going to be returning a pair of two. Damn. Uh, and that would be the only time or only way we'd uh, get any in store. I got you, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for uh, yeah, letting no me know. Yeah, no, uh, we do have a couple of retros in right now. We got uh, some 8s, right? Uh, 8s. Yeah. Sweater 7s. Um, I don't know if you're familiar or you've been in the store lately. Nah, uh, I actually. Gotta, Actually, man, I haven't. And you're referring to the Aqua Aids, right? Not the Chrome Aids? Yeah, we got Aqua, the 3P, and I believe some Chrome Aids, too. And then I want to say we have a size in the Chicago 10. Gotcha. Uh, the, uh, and then I forget what other. We do have Cyber Monday 1s. I think that might be it. Gotcha. In regards to the Aqua Aids, is there a full size run, or is it just like a few pairs there? Oh, no, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a full size run. I mean, I can double check to see what size you're looking for. Uh, t like 139 too, so. Yeah, uh, ten and a half. If you guys do have a pair. Ten and a half. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me check first. Sir. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. No problem. See, this is this is the customer service I be looking for every time. Hello, sir. Yeah, man. I'm right here. Uh, so we we do have some ten and a half. So it's just on our offsite right now, like in some boxes that aren't processed yet. But we do have ten and a half. So then in store, we actually have a size eleven. Solid. Um. Like I said, we do have both the ten and a half, but it is our our uh, we had we just uh, renting out like another store here in the outlets for like over. Oh, I got you. Overpacked in the back, you feel me? So like yeah, we do sure. have the ten and a half though. So cool. So if I were to come in there today, I would be able to get that ten and a half. Uh, more than likely, I'm, I can talk to my manager, see what we could work out, see if we can uh, get something done for you. That's all good, man. Yeah, as long as they're available, I'm cool with it. So I'll probably be in there today then. Ah, uh, sounds good. No problem. For sure, man. What's your name? Anthony. Anthony, man, my name is Pierce. I appreciate your service, bro. No problem. That's what I'm here for. For gotcha. sure, man. Have a good one. All right. Take it easy. You too. All right. That was the best customer service I ever had. Seriously, that was the best customer service I ever had. Anthony, you deserve a raise, bro. So serious. You the MVP. Let me tell you one thing about good customer service. When it comes to shoes and the Foot Lockers and the Champs and actual sneaker shops, good customer service ain't that common. I can remember back when they released the Pirate Blacks for the second time. And uh, of all places, Shoe Palace at Arden Mall ended up getting uh, a bunch of pairs. They, they ended up getting quite a few. And um, I think they released on Saturday and they ended up saying that they only got them the day before. So then they really, quote unquote, couldn't tell the people who actually run the raffle. So what they ended up doing was, end up doing just a regular in-store, first come, first serve. And you know when any store throws out that first come, first serve label, something funny's gonna happen, you know, under the desk or pairs are just gonna get carted off, you know, behind the table or back door. It's just, it's just that easy. And like I said, it ain't nothing to, uh, to cry about, cause, um, hey, if I had to connect, I'd be doing the same thing. But it's just how it is, especially for regular people like me. And hear me out, not every single employee that works at a shoe store is here to help you out. But when you come across a guy like Anthony, they're not here to give you the runaround. They're here to help you. Don't you ever forget that. Okay, so I was checking out Charlemagne, Charlemagne the God's, um, what was I checking out? I was checking out his podcast, Brilliant Idiots. And on his podcast, live in real time, he had his sneaker dealer come up to him 
um, in the studio and actually drop off his pair of flu games. This was about two weeks ago. And all of a sudden, I was just sitting there thinking, you know, like, it never came across my mind to like, you know, Pierce, it's all good. Don't even chip on, you know, waking up at five o'clock or six o'clock or filling out, you know, eight raffles across the whole city to, you know, hopefully get you a chance to cop a pair of flu game 12s. Like, don't even do that. Just pay the extra $60 and get you a connect. Or just get you a connect that really is cool with you and want to hook you up. And it's like, it, that never came across my mind, but I'm really starting to, you know, sway towards that. Like, I'm so done with going to the mall, you know, like two times a week, just hoping, hoping to figure out and come up on a pair of new releases. It's, uh, it's getting a little out of hand. So, uh, yeah, that's the story of my life. Wow. Yo, without the scuff marks and all the like heel drag, they look brand new. Now I don't have to watch it for another six months. That's weird. That's a, yeah, I know. That's what I was about to say. We already like doubled up on like how long? Yeah, exactly the same time we were in high school. Now it's already passed. Yeah. Now. Bro. Shit goes, bro. 